When you get there, let's stand. I'm just going to read one verse, and, and it's going to go along with that last song. Some things I know. Amen. Some things I know. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. If you're there, say amen. For the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Let's pray. God, we love you. And Lord, we thank you, God, for a loving church. We thank you, God, that we can come in and feel your presence, Lord. God, I thank you, God, that we can come in and smile and laugh, God, and, and just have a good time in your house, Lord. I'm glad that Christians don't have to be stuffy, and I, I'm glad that we can come in and smile, God. And Lord, just help us just the next little bit to preach this, God. Encourage us through your word, Lord. And whatever's done, God, if there's somebody in this building that don't know what I'm getting ready to preach about, God, help them to get on this altar before it's too late. Lord, we love you, and we we thank you for all you do in Jesus name. Amen. <clears throat> I want you to un understand it. I know Jesus. Amen. Amen. I know Jesus. I, and that word right there for I know, it comes from the Greek word to know or to be aware of. Number one, I know Jesus and I am aware of who Jesus is. And I, one thing when I was thinking about this as I was studying this, I'm aware of who Jesus is because I'm aware of who I am. I know I'm just a dirty, rotten sinner. I know that I, within me there's no good thing. I know the Bible says that the very best that you and I can do is as filthy rags. And when I realize who I am, then I get a real good glimpse and a real good knowledge of just who he is. He, he is the one. I know Jesus. I know his love. I know he loves me. Amen. And that, that, that blows my mind that, that, that the God that we talk about and we preach about in the Easter place shows about that did all those miracles and came down from heaven and, and took on this flesh. That, that, that God right there could love even me like Mike was singing this morning. When, I was on, when he was on the cross, I was on his mind. That blows my mind, y'all. But I know him. And, I, and I, I did this one time before. I won't ever forget I did this one time before. I, I don't remember who was running the sound system. But I had Riley or whoever it was put up a picture of John Wayne. And if I put that picture of John Wayne, Brother Charlie, everybody in here would say, oh, I know who that is. Every one of us. You just thought you knew John Wayne. You might know who he was, but you didn't know him. Praise God, I know Jesus. You say, how do you know Jesus? Because I talk to him and he talks to me, glory to God. I know Jesus. I know I have faith in him, for I know whom I have believed. I have faith that Jesus would save me, and he did, glory to God. I have faith that Jesus would keep me, when he, and he did. When I got shot, he was there. I had faith that, I, that he would help me raise my children. Praise God, both of my children, my grandchildren are in church today. I had faith that he would bless me in the future, and look what he's done at this church. I, I, I was talking to Clint just a little while ago. Let me tell you something, folks. When I left Conway and I moved to Lancaster, I had enough faith that I sold everything I had in Conway. I was coming to Lancaster. I, was, I had faith that he was going to watch over me. I had faith that he was going to keep me. I had faith that he was going to have his hand, have me in the palm of his hand, and he did. I know in whom I have believed. I'm all in, glory to God. Are you? I'm all in. So I, I, if I had faith uh, that he was going to help, help build this church, and he did, and I had faith that he was going to bring me through the surgery, so why in the world would I not trust him now? Why in the world would I, I mean, everything David that he's brought you through, everything that he's, Brother Tony that he's brought you through, and everything that he showed you, all the prayers that he answered, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, sometimes if we ain't careful as Christians, we'll get a little doubt. We'll get a little, our faith a, bit, a slip a little bit. But he, he's been so good to us. Why in the world would he stop now? Amen. I know in whom I have believed, I have faith. I know in whom I have committed myself to him. For I know in whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed. I, I, I thought about it when I was sitting in my computer and, 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 and jotting these things down. I, all, all I could see was, was that big old boy standing about right here and Jenny standing there and Tanner standing there singing, All my hope is in Jesus. Thank God my yesterday's gone. I'm telling you, all my hope is in Jesus. I am all in with him.
this. He don't tell you. I, he, mm. I, I, <laughs> listen to this. I, 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 you're going to like this, Brother Robert. John Holcomb uh, wrote a book one time, and in the book he said something to this effect. You must get involved to have an impact. No one is impressed with the win-loss record of the referees. Do I need to say, some of y'all looking at that like a deer in the headlight. I'm going to say that again. You got to get involved to have an impact. No one is, no one, uh, is impressed with the win-loss record of a referee. I'll be honest with you. I, I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday, and I, I called him to invite him to, to let him know about my mom and dad's 60th wedding anniversary. He's got a son, uh, Gavin, that's just get, he's getting ready to start uh, the baseball team at Newberry. And I was telling him about your uncle, and we were just talking about it. He, and, and, and he told me, he said, he said, some guy was telling my son the other day, he said, listen, he said, if you'll, if you'll just do what I tell you to, he said, I can have you uh, umpiring in the major leagues in two years. Starting salary of about three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars. He said, "I can get you in the major leagues in about." He said, "But I want to play baseball." See, if you want to play baseball, umpiring ain't gonna work. <laughs> hey, and if you want to be a Christian, glory to God, sitting on the sidelines ain't gonna work. We got to be all in. I have fully committed myself to Him, glory to God. Think about this: a wife that's eighty-five percent faithful to her husband. So what if you just 85% faithful to Jesus? Get all in, folks. I know I have assurance of him, for I know whom I have believed in and am persuaded that he is able. <clears throat> is Jesus able? He, he, uh, he created all things. I know he's able to keep me, glory to God. Uh, if he watched over the children of Israel in the wilderness, I know he can watch over me. If he watched over those three Hebrew boys, they got thrown into the fire. Every time I get thrown into the fire, I know that I know that I know that he's going to watch over me. I'm going to go ahead and tell you something, folks. I done come too far, Brother Charlie, to look back now. Let me tell you, understand something. When I got, I hadn't been saved very long when I got shot. I hadn't been saved very long when I got in car wrecks. And he watched, all, uh, watched over me through all of that. And he's got me where he's got me at today. I'm staying with him. I'm staying with him. I got assurance of him. And I know I'm not ashamed of him. For the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For I know in whom I have believed, and am persuaded he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Romans chapter 1, verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God and the salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also the Greek. Jesus is my God. Amen. He's my God. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, he's my God. I, I, I thought about it this morning. His brother, and I, I'm just going to stop right here and, and, and make, a, make a little side note. Some of y'all been missing Sunday school. Y'all need to get in. I got three amens, glory to God. <laughs> David's been doing a, a fabulous job. And he was talking about this morning about that, uh, that, that, that golden calf. Well, she was there. How in the world... Could them same people that saw the plagues and, and saw God open up the Red Sea, they walked across on dry land. I like what one old preacher, one old preacher said, they could look over to the right and see catfish looking at them, and they were walking across on dry land. How in the world could they see all that and then turn their back on God and build a golden calf and worship that golden calf? The same way people said in church, and see God move and lay out for six months. I'm not ashamed of him. I'm not ashamed of him at the grocery store. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm going I'm, I'm to tell you all, folks, when the Parsons ever come back, if you want, if you want something that will get people's attention, you get that shirt that says, uh, how, how, how's it, that? Uh, he loved me to death. That, that, that gets people's attention. I can't wear that shirt nowhere if somebody don't ask me about it. I'm not ashamed. I, and let me go ahead and tell you something. I ain't got to have a T-shirt on, Chucky, to let everybody know I'm saved. I'm not ashamed of him. 
Jesus is my God. I'm not, let me go and tell y'all something. I'm not ashamed to be free will Baptist. I'm not ashamed to tell people I go to Liberty Free Will Baptist Church. Oh, you go over there where they handle snakes. Oh, no, we don't handle no snakes. I'm the preacher. I guarantee we ain't handling no snakes. But I'm not ashamed to tell them that I'm, a, I'm the pastor of Liberty. I love this church. I love these men. I'm telling you right now, I, 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 I love Brother Robert. I, I, I love everybody in this church. We, we come together. We have a great time. Last night proved that. I'm not ashamed of this church. And I'm not ashamed of you. And I'm not ashamed of him. There's some things I know. Let me tell you something. I know without a doubt that these men's got my back. No doubt. I know that. I know without a doubt this church has got my back. I know without a doubt this church loves me. And I want you to know without a doubt that I love you. And Jesus loves us. And let's just work together. And build God's house. Amen. Amen. I told you it was going to be short.